Feeling disconnected from your community? Turn to BrainerdDispatch.com. Local news keeps you in the know on what's happening in your area. From breaking news to high school sports reports, get the important news of the day and updates on local events only at BrainerdDispatch.com. Good morning, Brainerd Lakes area. It's Monday, March 11th. I'm Teresa Burke with your Brainerd Dispatch Minute, the weekday podcast of the Brainerd Dispatch, named the best daily newspaper in the state of Minnesota, catching you up on the news of the Brainerd Lakes area. Here are today's top local headlines. Greg Tomberlin was thankful, thankful, thankful after visiting Pioneer Elementary School in Piers last week. That's because he left the school with 575 pounds of pop tabs. They were added to his already massive collection, which he uses proceeds from to donate to disabled veterans. Piers students collected the pop tabs as their spring fundraiser and voted to give them to Tomberlin's cause. Read more about his efforts in my story in Saturday's Dispatch or online. There are a few more fish in the lakes around the Cuyuna Country State Recreation Area in Crosby. DNR officials were out on Sagamore Mine Lake last week stocking rainbow trout through the ice. Locals may know the fish as loopers. The man-made mine pits offer a cold water environment for the trout, which is unique to the area. Reporter Tim Spire has the full story in Saturday's paper and at BrainerdDispatch.com. Two-time Canadian Olympic medalist Kevin Martin brought his curling knowledge to the Brainerd Lakes Curling Club for a fundraiser for the Lupus Research Foundation. About 24 curlers took part in the two-day academy, working on the ice and in a classroom. All funds went directly to benefit those suffering from lupus. Martin is a renowned curling skip and has won gold and silver Olympic medals. Read more about his time in Brainerd in today's Dispatch E-Edition. The Breezy Point City Council was unable to reach a majority vote on design options for its City Hall project last week. They agreed to table the project until it is placed on a future agenda by a council member. Mayor Angel Zierden said she will continue working with community partners on due diligence for all project options. Check out today's e-edition for the full story. The times of both a long-range planning committee and a planning commission in Baxter are coming to an end. Council members are looking at options to consolidate the two boards in favor of streamlining city operations for residents and developers. Managing Editor Renee Richardson has all the details in Saturday's Dispatch and online. From former Dispatch publisher Terry McCullough's column, This Was Brainerd, Exploring the Dispatch Archives, here's today's tidbit of local history. Eighty years ago today, in 1944, the Dispatch reported that musical instruments are wanted for our fighting men. In response to a request from the Army, there is a citywide campaign to round up banjos, saxophones, and every other instrument lying unused in closets and attics. No pianos or bass fiddles, though. Too big. The Army asked Coca-Cola bottlers to be the drop-off point as they are located everywhere. For a daily dose of This Was Brainerd, visit BrainerdDispatch.com or find McCullough's column in the newspaper or e-edition. Now here's today's Lakes Area Forecast, brought to you by Tanner Motors of Brainerd. Storm Tracker. Weather for the Brainerd area today, looking at mostly sunny skies and very warm temperatures getting into the low 60s this afternoon. We'll see clouds work their way back in overnight tonight, but sunshine returns for Tuesday, and we'll be looking at temperatures climbing back up into the mid to upper 50s. I'm Storm Tracker meteorologist Robert Pointer. Thanks to Tanner Motors for their support, and thank you for listening to the Brainerd Dispatch Minute. For more news throughout the day, and for information on becoming a subscriber, visit BrainerdDispatch.com. Have a great day, and we'll catch you tomorrow.